So welcome back to the kitchen once again and I'm bringing you a lovely piece of equipment from Morphe Richards. It is the Sear and Stew Slow Cooker, a 3.5 litre slow cooker to offer you the ability to make long and slow cooked items such as maybe pulled pork or things like stews right through to cooking maybe chickens and also as well making things like vegetable stews. So I think the first thing that we need to do is take a look at the actual unit itself and let's pop on something to eat for this afternoon. So this is the sear and stew from Morphe Richards. Inside the box what we get is the unit itself we get a manual and we get the actual plug that's attached to it. Now part of the actual unit itself is the wonderful piece that comes with this and it's the sear part. So obviously with a slow cooker you can just pop in all of your items that you want to cook and leave them for a long period of time to really sort of get the benefit out of that low and slow cook. So maybe it might be meats or root vegetables, things like that, that need a little bit more cooking to get the best out of it. Now the one thing that comes from this, and I, I use slow cookers quite regularly, um, you know, maybe on a Sunday or on a weekend when I want to be out with the kids and doing things, I want to come back and have my tea or my lunch already there, ready to go. So there's not really much cooking to do, maybe a little less clean up as well. But the one thing that I have found is that I've got to use a pan to basically do my sauteing. I've got to then have something else to clean up. What I really like about this idea is the fact that I can put this on the hob, I can put my items in it and I can cook them on the hob and then literally just take it, obviously with oven gloves or a towel, pop it in and literally pop the lid on and away I go. And I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that I'm going to enjoy about using this slow cooker. So alongside the actual unit itself, we get the manual. And the manual gives you a really good insight to how to actually use the product, you know, a step-by-step -step guide. And then we've got some really nice recipes. So things such as chicken in white sauce. We've got things like um, goulash. We've got bolognese sauce and beef curry right through to other things like vegetarian curries and desserts like rice pudding and pears in red wine. So again, it gives you really good insight straight out of the box on different things that you can do with this. So if you've never used a slow cooker before, you know, you can really get up to speed very quickly. It also as well comes with a two year guarantee and what you need to do is just register that once you've purchased the item. Now that two year guarantee gives you peace of mind that this product is going to last you, but if you do have any breakdowns, Morphe Richards are there to cover your back. So I'll just move this over to the side and what we'll do is we'll go over the actual cooking element part of the actual unit and then we'll get into actually some cooking. So on the front here, we've got an indicator of the little red light to show when the actual unit is on. We also as well have a dial that should goes from off. We go to hot, low and medium. And it's very simple to do. It's quite tactile as well. So again, you know you're gonna get it on the actual um, setting that you want. Now again, the only thing that I would say that's a little more confusing than all the other slow cookers that I've used is the fact that it goes from off to hot to low to medium. Now how I would have seen it would have been more off, low, medium and high. But I think I've just got to get used to the fact that if I put it on this one, it's going to be on high rather than low. So I think it's just a little bit of a getting used to these sort of things rather than any problems. So I think what we need to do now is let's take out the sear part of the actual unit, so this actual tray. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook up some pulled pork for this afternoon. So let's get cracking. So I'm here at the hob and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically start the process off of putting some pork in here. We're going to seal it off a little bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it back over to the actual slow cooker. We're going to put in some sauce and we're going to leave it for a fair few hours to see it actually get a little bit more tenderised but also as well see it start flaking away. So first thing to do, let's get a little bit of oil in here, let's pop it on and let's sear it off. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of coconut oil here. So very simple, 
I'm going to pop on the actual cooker itself and then what we're going to do is just put in a small amount of coconut oil. Okay, we'll just wait for that to heat up. Okay, so the one thing I would say is be very, very careful. Obviously, this pan is all metal. It's going to get very hot very quickly. It's starting to get quite warm enough for me pretty much not to pick that up now. So again, oven gloves or a towel, very, very useful. So we've got some nice hot oil there now. So I'm going to pop into the pork. So we've just got a nice shoulder joint here. I'm just going to put it fat side down. And we'll just leave that just to sear off the first part. And then what we'll do is we'll flip it over onto the, all the other sides. And we'll move it over to the slow cooker. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just flip it over onto the other side. Remember, using that towel. And we'll just give that a few more minutes and we'll come back. Just flip it over onto the other sides. Okay, so that's all of the sides all seared off now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it back to the slow cooker and let's finish off the job and let it cook for a fair few hours. So that's all the pork all transferred over to the actual slow cooker now. So we're going to finish it off with a few extra pieces, which is going to be mostly the sauce that this is going to cook in. And it's going to be very, very quick to do, but also as well, it's just going to be able to sit there and cook for the next few hours, maybe about three to four hours to get the best out of it. So I found this recipe online, it is super duper easy. All we're going to do is pop in some pepper. Big believer in lots and lots of pepper. Plenty of salt. We're going to pop in some mustard seeds. We're going to pop in some barbecue sauce. Now this could be any barbecue sauce, I've just chosen this one here. So again, just one whole bottle, very simple to do. And the mystery ingredient, Italian dressing. I know, it sounds so weird, doesn't it? Just found it on Pinterest, it works so easy, but it's so simple and quick to do. That's it, that's all you need to do. So all we now need to do is just pop it on high, we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna leave it for about three to four hours, and we'll come back and see the results. So, see you very shortly. So it's been about four hours and we're pretty much done. Now I could leave this going for quite a while and probably overnight if I wanted, maybe put it on that low setting and just leave it, get a good sort of 18, 20 hours cooking on it. If I wanna get something done, maybe for this evening's meal. So it's all done, it's gonna be quite hot, so I'm gonna open it up with all the steam going one way. Now all I've done mid-term of this is just flip the pork itself. So, it is looking all lovely and bubbly. It looks absolutely amazing. It smells so good. So, literally, I think first things to do is just pull off some of this pork and it is literally just falling apart. So again, all we're doing is we're just doing low and slow. And again, it's it just breaks apart. So the great thing that comes from this is just that it's so simple to do. You throw a load of things in a pot, put the lid on, set it to one of the heat settings and away you go. You just leave it until you get home from work or whether you've been out with the kids or if you've just gone out for the day, you've got your meal waiting for you. Now you can make a whole host of different things. I've made apple pies in these before, I've made rice pudding, I've done soups and stews, I've even baked chickens in these before. So you, the world is literally your oyster when it comes to a slow cooker. All this is about is about convenience, not having to stand over something and really sort of put a lot of effort into things. You know, you can make these as fancy as you want. You know, you can put in loads of red wine and herbs and beautiful vegetables, neatly chopped up and things like that. Or you can literally just go the total opposite and just throw a load of stuff in the pan and hope for the best. The great thing about this is simplicity but also as well convenient. So let's have a quick taste and see what it's like. So again, it's beautifully, it's lovely and tender. I think the big thing that comes from this is that I can leave this for as long as I want and I can leave it as little as I want. It's just all about getting the results that I want without having to put too much effort in in the kitchen. So let's pop the lid on and go through a summary. So the Morphe Richard Sear and Stew Slow Cooker. What do I think to it? 
Well, to be honest, I've gone through a fair few slow cookers in my time and I've enjoyed pretty much every single one of them. But the one difference I've noticed with this is two things. Number one, the actual dial on the front is nice and chunky and tactile. I know exactly what I'm putting it on. A little bit of confusion with the heat settings there, but it's nothing that's really a detriment to the actual product itself. But I really like the fact that I know I've clicked it onto that setting. Some of them are just really too easy to flip onto the wrong setting. I have had that before. Come back to a basically a slow cooked meal that hasn't cooked and it's a real annoyance, so I really do like that. The other one as well, and it's the pretty much the biggest piece around this, and it's the sear part. So I can get straight onto the hob, I can put my things in, I can saute things, I can do pre-cook, I can do everything in one dish, and I can transfer that directly into the slow cooker itself. And I think that's the big deal when it comes to this slow cooker compared to other ones I've had. Normally I've had to use a pan or a couple of pans do the pre-work and then put it all together in the actual slow cooker, turn it on and then wait. With this, I've literally just got one thing, I don't have to have to worry about all the cleanup and all the mess that comes from pre-cooking. So I've really enjoyed that and to be honest, the results that have come from it pretty much are the same as any other slow cooker, you know, it cooks for a long period of time and you know the results are pretty much the same for any of the slow cookers out there but the big difference from this is this sear part and I really really like this and I'm looking forward to getting on with cooking some other things and um, you know vegetable stews and so on. So all in all I'm really really impressed with the Morphe Richard sear and stew 3.5 litre slow cooker. It's a really easy way to cook but also as well, you can make a whole raft of different items just by popping it in and leaving it to cook. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it's been useful and you've enjoyed it. If it has, click that like button. If you've got any questions whatsoever about the product, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. And also as well, if you want to stay tuned for future videos, hit that subscribe button with notification bell. I look forward to seeing you in another video.